I am Rhea. Today we're making the Ruby River cocktail and it's named that because our friend Eliza grew up on a river and it's a drink for her. <laughs> that was good. Should I smear any of this off? <laughs> Get the confetti out of your cup. That's how you do it professionally at a bar. Thank you. Taste every beer. Alright, so you have your little shaker and you're gonna put some ice in it. Ooh, this ice is a little bit melted. It's been a funny week. It's been smoky and today it finally rained which thank f right. we needed rain. So I just put some ice in the shaker and now why it's called Ruby is because we're using rhubarb gin from Sheringham, which if you're on Vancouver Island, you know that it's one of the best distilleries. Oh my God, the confetti is so funny. So I'm gonna do an ounce and three quarters of the rhubarb gin. So just measure that out. But I'm also making two drinks. So just times that by two because we have a fun guest in the shadows. Lurking. <laughs> She's not lurking. Uh, and then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of elderflower liqueur. Elderflower liqueur is very sweet, so you really don't need much. Here we go. Some lemon. Remember this year when Australia was on fire? That feels so long ago. So I just put in three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And now I'm putting in just a quarter ounce of simple syrup for both of the drinks. I'm also gonna put in some Miss Better's Bitters, the white peach. How much do I have left? There we go. Uh, Cause it's really tasty. Give it a little shake shake. Okay, and now we're just gonna give a shake. We need some new moves. Oh, oh yeah, shaking machine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> have a little workout. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all post-consumer paper product. And I did get some little sage leaves. There you have the Ruby River cocktail Beautiful. for Elisa. Right. Come have a little drink. Cheers. Cheers. To becoming a teacher. Mmm. Whoever did that shaking job. It's really strong. Mm. Mm, that's really good. So this is a very strong drink, and I think the only way to determine its strength is to have an arm wrestling contest. All right. Which arm do you want? Can't, can't we both use our right arm? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you're stronger... How would my left hand and your right hand... Lisa grew up with a gym in her family, and she has a... You can't see it, but she has a six-pack. Oh, this is like... All right, the gloves are coming off. Okay, I just did my nails. Got to like, channel my inner Viking heritage. I just don't have blonde hair or blue eyes. It throws a lot of people off. It's a myth, it's true. Okay. That's Duncan, you call it. Okay, one, three, go. No. Come on. No! Come on! No, I don't think Elise is trying. I am! Oh, go. <laughs> go, go. Ah! <laughs> oh, can I bite yeah, you? Throw, throw your shoulder into it. Pull, pull, pull! Ah! Oh! <laughs> and we have a winner! Can you are the new bartender! <laughs> God. I have carpal tunnel. Okay. This is deadly. Okay. If you plan on arm wrestling, drink one of these before. How about the Duncan and Eliza arm wrestle? Yeah. 